Today, I am very excited to announce Carbon AI. Our AI is using GPT technology within Carbon. It draws on your firm's information that is in Carbon to provide new ways to automate tasks and work faster. Um, the great thing about having it in Carbon is there's going to be no switching back and forth between apps. And most importantly, we will maintain security and privacy over your data. Carbon was built initially as a communication and collaboration tool, and triage was our first feature. So it made a lot of sense for us to focus here first. And our first uh, AI, AI functionality is going to be around how we improve your email workflow. So let's kick into this one. So the first thing you'll see is that when emails come into triage, we're going to be using Carbon AI to assess important and priority. We're going to look at the urgency, the sentiment, and the tone of your email messages and apply an importance label um, to it, so whether it's high priority or low priority. Then once you open up an email conversation, you'll have the ability to summarize. So if an email conversation comes in, there's a lot of email content, or maybe there's back and forth between your team and comments and assigning the email, you'll be able to click our summarize button and get bulleted list of everything that the email conversation contains. So this would be really important to see what's actually important and actionable before deciding whether you wanna dig deeper into the email conversation. So now you've figured out what your high priority emails are. You've opened up the email conversation. You've summarized the content to understand what it needs. And here you have the option to quickly reply. So will you use all of the content of the email to draft a reply with one click? And once you have the draft, you'll be able to review the content and make any content changes you like, or you can ask Carbon AI to make the changes for you. And we'll be able to adjust tone um, based on, on your selection. We're going to also introduce the ability to create emails from scratch. So not only replying to, to emails, as I mentioned before, we'll, you'll be able to put in content into your regular email compose window and say compose and Carbon AI will create that draft email for you. You'll have the option again to review and adjust before sending. The last use case is called email tasks. So what we wanted to do is look at how we integrated email into your workflow. So we're going to be introducing a new task to templates and work items called an email task. And this email task is gonna give you the option to have two different ways of sending emails to clients. The first one's gonna be using Carbon AI. And the second is going to be an email template that Millie will touch on in her session a little bit later. Um, and this will allow you to use prompts and content within the task to auto create the drafts to send to your clients as your work progresses. Now, is Carbon AI secure? Absolutely. It was very, very important to us to make sure that your data is always secure with Carbon. We're using Azure's open AI services within, within, within our Carbon infrastructure today, and this will ensure that we keep your data safe. So what I wanna do now is give you a demo of a couple of the use cases that I spoke about. All right, so here I am inside triage. The first thing I hope you'll notice if you scan down the right hand side is the priority labels. So you can see that I've got a couple emails that have come through and automatically been tagged as high priority or low priority. We'll be introducing also a filter list at the top. So you'll be able to quickly filter and see what all of your high priority messages are. Now, if I wanna action one of these emails, I can open it up. You can see here, I've got an email from my client, David Buck, and he's telling me that there's some issues with his billing. And I have the option here, let me just move this around. So you can see there's quite a few messages just to summarize. By clicking the summarize button, it provides me again with a bulleted list outlining all of the content that's occurred in the email message. You can do that on all emails, not just the ones with high priority labels. So I'll give you another example of that. We'll grab one here. It's another email from another David Buck. <laughs> My test data, David's been very busy sending me emails. Um, but again, here you can get the other summarized bulleted list. Um, the summary does include comments. It's not just the email messages from your clients or emails between your team members. It will include all of the comments and actions that have occurred within the email conversation. All right, the next use case, the feature I'd like to show you is the email task. So I'm clicking over here to a work item and I'm gonna go over to the task list. And you can see we've got this new email, this new task type, which is called email task. I open it up and it's got a type. So this is the AI prompt type and you can see there's some prompts in here. So this task is really about letting the client know that the work has started and we expect it to be completed within a week. So I go and I create draft. It's off creating the draft for me. 
it puts it on the timeline and you'll see here it's suggesting the client that I should send the email to, John Smith, and it's produced all of the text for me. Again, I can edit this text if I want to change anything or I can change the tone by using the tone changing feature. So this is just the beginning. We um, expect to introduce more features and, and ways to improve uh, efficiency and workflow within Carbon using AI. Um, we'll continue to develop this and look for ways to produce more productivity around client management, reporting, insights, workflow management, capacity planning, you name it. And we wanna hear from you. We wanna know where do you think that Carbon should use this technology to help you work more efficiently within your firm. Mm -hmm.